Hey, it's Ken Gaddy with the YouTube channel and Game It's here to continue my Let's Play of Zelda 3 for the Super Nintendo, played here on the Wii U Virtual Console. I'm headed into the Tower of Hera, atop Death Mountain. This is the third dungeon of the Light World. And pretty soon you'll see why I'm making that distinction. So, classic game, classic puzzles. Gotta go up, gotta go down. Let's check all around and start with looking at my map. That's not my map. How do I get out of here? Let's look at my map. That's not my map either. Here's my map, and I am on the second floor, so there's only one floor to go down. Let's start down there, check it out, and that way we can move up, up, up throughout the mountain, throughout the tower, knowing that we've left no stone unturned. Ow, that really hurt. Is this guy going to stay dead? He stays dead. Excellent. But my boomerang doesn't work very well on them, because uh, they just keep on moving. Now, these little guys, moldorms, these worms are super annoying. And there's going to be a lot of them. Ah, get away. There. Throughout the level. But in the meantime, let's move up. And I bet you I need to go back down and hit that thing. Or I can just hit this one right here. Otherwise, I'd be stuck. So stuck. All right, let's see what else is on this floor before we go up. Hey, Sasparilla, what do you got to say to me? Link, it is I, Sasparilla the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. So if I get stuck, I just use my magic mirror ask who is the fairest of them all, and here I have the map. Excellent. Ah, get away. So I have one key, and I see a locked door to the upper left. So let's go ahead and unlock that door with my key. Not my key, just my key. Oh, we're going down again, so there's more to the bottom floor that we've not yet explored. Are these tiles going to rise up against me? Why, yes, they are. Now, I have a pretty cool shield that I got from the fairy in the fountain near Zora's Falls. I wonder if I can just block these tiles with my shield. I suspect not, because you already saw me got hurt once. I know, hurt me once, fool on me, or can't stand for something or anything. So, there we go. All right, and a few more here. I was trying to figure out the pattern that they create as they rise up against me. Is it Ganon's face? Kind of, sort of, maybe? A little bit? Not that I know who Ganon is yet in this point in the game, because I've, uh, ow, that really hurt. Not encountered him. So, pots, pots, lots of pots. Always got to open up all the pots, crack them open, break them open, see what's inside, and off I go. Let's double check the map one more time. Okay, so there are four rooms down here. This is room one, two, I've already been to room one, that's two, three, and avoid these things as much as I can because they annoy me to no end. Ow, don't throw your bones at me. That's like auto-aggressive or something. Okay, so let us light the darkness. I don't have a flame wand or anything, so I'm just gonna use my, ow, put it, uh, lamp, and go one, two, three, four. And what do I get for my pursuits? The big boss key. So now I can open the big chest that has the magic item for this level, as well as the door to where the boss is hiding. Oh, didn't get anything with that swing. Swing and a miss! Uh-oh, swinging and almost dead. Eek. Oh. I need to find something to hit. There we go. Ah, missed. Ah, get away. Oof. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use my fairy, which is not a sense until here in many other games. But I need some health. She's going to give it to me. Full health. Restores seven hearts, I believe, and that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exactly how many I had. So now I have an empty bottle, and the fairy is a good thing to keep, which I did not do, because she will restore your life automatically should you die. So now, should I die, I am out of luck. Oh, I need to go back downstairs and hit that thing again, don't I? I'm really getting annoyed with all these silly little puzzles. Why are they doing so much damage? Every hit is taking away, like, a whole heart. What happened in the good old days when it was just like a quarter of a heart? And now the tiles are going to reach up against me again? Ah! Fudge! Ah, get away from me! Aw, oh, man! I just lost four hearts! That's more than half the health that the fairy gave me to begin with! I'm not making the most of her gift. 
Let's hope that there are some enemies that I can destroy to get some hearts as I climb this wretched tower. Ah, oh, what a terrible night to have a curse. Oh, I can actually kill these things. That's good. I don't just need to push them down into the hole. Now, there's a switch here. Which way do I want it facing to get through the next room? Let's go with that one. Don't know if that was the right guess or not. But I can move these holes. Hey, hey. Now, the thing with these guys is every time I hit them, I bounce backwards. So they're trying to push me into the hole. I can push them into the holes too, but that just hasn't happened yet. Alright, so here's my big boss key. Right out of Metal Gear Solid. And more holes. Ah! Oh, whoops. Actually didn't mean to do that. I don't know if I can push them into the holes, but I can make the holes appear beneath them. Uh, but then I don't get anything... Oh, no! They're killing them. Oh, I almost fell down into that pot, which would have lowered me even further. But I'd need to go down there anyway to hit the switch, don't I? Crap! I'm getting sick of this. This is going to be a tedious let's play. Well, let's at least get rid of these guys so that they don't breathe fire at me anymore. There we go. A rupee for my efforts. And now I need to face the tiles again. Get out of here quickly this time. Ah, no hits. No, no! Oh, hit me in the back. Down to two hearts again. I need more hearts. I should have perhaps explored Outer Hyrule a little bit more to find some more heart container pieces before I got here. But I'm here now. It is what it is. C'est la vie. Que sera sera. Uh, Mosito Transit Gloria Mundi. That's pretty much it. Okay, back here. Where this guy was such a pain in the butt. Come on, come at me, bro. There we go. Alright, sneak through here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. There's no holes above me, so I don't have to worry about him pushing me into one. Good. Uh, let's switch that. Just... On a lark, on a whim, on a guess. Oh, there's the big chest already. Gotcha. One hit. Nice. And a red rupee for my efforts. Ah! Huh. So a pot is as big, or as strong, rather, as a spin attack from my sword. That's kind of discouraging. Lots of pots, though, and that could mean a lot of hearts. Die! There we go. Hey, he died. Nice that somebody listens to me around here. And since I have the magic boomerang, I can throw it all the way and pick up anything from anywhere. So, yay that. Another $10. Why not? Compass! Now I know where the evil master is. I presume he's at the top of the tower? Just a wild guess. Hey, he's on the sixth floor. How'd I know? Sasparilla, what do you got for me? An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. You just told me about it. How could I forget that quickly? Okay, can I go this way? Looks like I need to fall down from above. All right. Arrows. Arrows. Okay. So let's find a way to fall down onto that giant chest. Let's see where it is on that floor. Relatively up here, it's nowhere. It's weird. But I see some uh, opportunities to bomb walls over there. And if you look at the map, it does look like maybe there's a little bit of an opening over there. Uh-oh. They're coming at me. There's too many of them. Do the red ones die? Mm, I'm thinking no. Oh, I'm thinking wrong. How about that? 
Okay, so let's tap this thing right here. Huh, still can't get at those walls there. But how about these up here? Let's try this. I have 40 bombs. Nothing. But by moving where the holes were, by tapping that tile, I made a hole here. Let's see what that does for me. Perfect. Landing. Right where Sasparillo said it would be. Yay. Thanks, Sassy. I can't find more hearts while I'm here, can I? Under more pots that I already broke? Nope. Okay. Whoa. Bang. Alright. Let's go up, 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 up. Okay. So, the cracks are distractions. These are hearts, though. I remember that. I'm pretty sure I can't actually bomb this wall, but let's try it. I have enough bombs to spare. Okay. Too bad I can't put the hearts in a jar. That'd be handy. Okay. So this is the final boss, and the challenge is not so much to kill him, but to make sure he doesn't push me off his ledge and make me fall down. So I am going to delete any attempts that... Uh, result in me falling down because otherwise this becomes a very monotonous level. I have fought this boss before and it takes forever if you don't get it right. And you, sh you shouldn't have to watch that. So uh, I'm going to try this time and if this doesn't succeed then... Oh crap! The next time will be it. Uh, missed. Ooh. We're doing so bad so far. As long as I stay fairly away. Ooh. Maybe just a few more? No! No! Oh, see? That's what I mean. He pushed me really far. Okay. So, the next time I enter that room, I win. Okay, this is take number four. And if you're watching this, then this means I win! Because otherwise I'm going to delete it and you'll never see it. Ah, oh, there must be some trick that I'm missing. Because this is wicked annoying. Gotcha. Why do you have googly eyes? Are you, like, related to Cookie Monster? Ooh, maybe that's the trick, is just to get him while he's departing my most recent assault. Does he speed up? Oh, yeah. Gotcha! Four takes. That's all it took. I think that might be a record for me. I'll take that heart container, thank you very much. And I'll take this pendant. Is this the pendant of wisdom? I don't remember. Phew. Now, if I recall, I received some sort of a warning from Sasparilla, don't I? With this, you have collected all three pens. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. That's what happens next, right. So my next video is going to be getting the Master Sword and whatever happens after that, leading up to, I think, the next dungeon? Uh, it depends on how long the video runs. I may make a cut somewhere. But, yeah, I think I will. So the next video will be the Master Sword and the next boss. That's what it will be. So stay tuned to YouTube channel Game Bits as I continue my explorations and adventures in the far-off land of Hyrule.